Thirsty and 30. friends i'm shari and welcome to season two of thirsty and 30 a blinding the blind chat show on smarter love and i'm bea so guys you know shari and i we've made the mistakes before so that you don't really have to and we got you ladies and gents we're gonna be your researchers for this season yeah yeah and guys please do us a favor and share this video with your heartbroken friends they need to hear this and also guys don't forget to click the subscribe button Yes, yeah, sorry about the little conflict issue with the schedule, but we are here. We'll, we'll, we'll still, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll actually, <laughs> yes, we'll tackle one of the hardest things in dating. But before that, I do, I think we promised this about a, a month ago, and we want to help people na hindi matililing at mabudol ng pag-ibig. So we are giving away five books um, of how to not die alone. Um, so all you have to really do is submit your love problem and why you deserve this book to our website, thirstyand30.club. And you may get it or you may not. There's only five yep. of them, but yeah, very, and very guys exciting. Do not be shy. We have heard a lot and we never judge. And you know what? We've been we've been tiddling ourselves. So and we may yeah. have read it actually, and you know, for, I think we're less tiddling. right? Yes, for sure. When you watch our first episode, we are less um we're less man haters, and now we are. <gasps> yes, we love all kinds of people, basically. So, <laughs> Sherry, tonight we talk about one of the most painful experiences in our dating lives: breakups. So, you know, Sherry and I always have a theory, um, no matter what our topic is. And today, our theory is: breakups are like personal apocalypses, and you can sometimes feel like a walking zombie. And at times, though, in the end of it, there is a revelation about ourselves that will make us survive heartbreak. So, means talaga nakaka zombie like yung effect, but we will survive. <clears throat> yes, and lucky tonight we have a special guest. We have Alec Cuenca who runs a small talk podcast and we consider the king of the self improvement in the podcast world. And what else do we have to do after a breakup but self improve? So, he is the perfect guest. So, let's welcome Alec Cuenca. Hi, Thank Alec. you. Hi, hi, hi. I'm really excited to be here. That was like the biggest compliment I've ever received. So thank you so much for the description. But yeah, I, I'm I'm also excited. Like you guys ha really have an amazing setup here, and you know the giveaway. I was like, I was thinking like maybe I should get, maybe I should you know send my love story so I could I could probably win that book. It, it looks like an amazing book. So yeah, yeah, it's I'm excited. a great book. Yeah. So Alec, we are, are we are gonna start our episode with a caller, right, Bea? Yes, we actually have a anonymous caller. Usually it's a letter, but tonight we have a lovely guest and he's wow. going to we warm up with a problem and of course we'd love to get your advice on this and we'll share the problem as well. So hello, good evening to our guest. Hello, hello. Yes, you're Can you're, hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi, hi, Shari, Bea, Alec. Good evening. Um, so do I just go into it? Do I just, I'll just... Yes, just yeah. dive in, uh, Mister. Okay. I need the buy <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, so my story is um, last last year I met a girl through. We have these weekly. So I go to these Zoom Bible studies. Um, and then, so I met this girl, you know, I was not able to date anybody. So I was like looking through the, 
the participants and then looking for the cute girls. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I saw her and then cute to mancha. Um, so and then we, I messaged her, you know, like you have the chat on Zoom. So I messaged her and then we started talking outside the, you know, the Zoom sessions of Bible studies. And then, you know, we hit it off. Um, found out she loved dogs then, like I do. Uh, and we also, we both play COD Mobile. So we bonded over that. Um, yeah, and then long story short, naging kami after two months. Uh, after talking like that. But then, so it's going well. Ganyan. And then uh, last April, so March, April, she just um, she said she wanted to talk to me after the, the Bible study. And then, I thought we hang out virtually. Ganyan. But then she's, she just broke up with me far out of the blue. Uh, and <laughs> she said, pa, it's not you, it's me. So <laughs> I was like, I was really caught off guard. I didn't know what to say. So I don't know. I just, I, just, I guess want to get advice. I didn't know what to do. So, and then now I guess I'm still a little bit in shock. I don't know. Um, yeah. But um, at this point, I just want to move on with my life. So help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Divine Intervention. We, okay, yeah. we got you. Alec, what May do you I just think? say, I, I I really like your name, Mr. I Need Divine Intervention. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, well, I'm really surprised we have, a, we have a surprise caller right now. But yeah, I, you know, the story that you share, it's not, it's not something that we don't often hear. There are a lot of people out there experiencing the same thing. And you know when she said oh, when hmm. oh so it can't unmute your guest their mic isn't connected. Okay, while well, Alec is fixing his microphone, Mr. I Need Divine Intervention, let us ask you a few questions, the man. Um, okay. Did it slowly disappear, but um, your conversations, like Dahan Dahan, or lang she just hit you with, it's not you, it's um, me? I think it was, it, things were going okay, I think. I mean, it might have been different from her perspective, but. Yeah, I did notice like she was talking to me less. Sometimes she'll like have abrupt, uh, just short responses. So maybe I should have seen it coming, but I still felt a bit blindsided. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So okay, can I continue? Yeah. Go ahead, Alec. First of all, you know, don't be too harsh on yourself. Like you were saying, na parang hindi. Uh, you should have seen it coming. The truth is, you you can't. You you won't probably see it, even if you think that you see it. There will always be this love barrier that will fog your your vision, and you will always see the good sides, and you will always see that things can work out in the end. So don't be too hard on yourself. But the thing is, when it comes to love, things like that happen. When it comes to relationships, not love. When it comes to relationship, th things like that happen. Suddenly, a person wakes up and they can totally say to themselves that they don't want to be with this person anymore. I've had my fair share of experience uh, dealing with that. Um, and, you know, to be fair, I also experienced that one day when it, when it just all turned down. On, it, it, it all came upon me that, okay, today I just, I just don't want to be with this person anymore. So I need to, to be honest with her. I need to confront her. And so one thing that I'd like to highlight is what she said, that it's not you, it's me. Yeah. Because we, we always hear that it's cliche and we think, it's, uh, we think it's, it's, it's just a quote that people say. But that's the truth. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about her. 
she had a decision she made a decision for herself and um you know when 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 she came to the point where she hurt you it's because she was hurting herself like there was this like void or pain inside of her and she didn't know how to deal with it and so instead of you know making you know uh, making the situation worse or the relationship worse she had to break it and she had to fix or to find that answer that she was looking for internally and that you know you were just like um what do you get, what do you call this like collateral damage for what she's trying to heal in in inside of her so yeah <laughs> that's what i think yeah. i'm gonna be a harsh harsh um <laughs> mother here <laughs> when people say it's not you it's me it's both of you <laughs> it's not just, i really i mean i've been on that part about the breakup where someone will say i just need these things but in reality like when i look because I did a comeback on this relationship. I did work on a few things mm -hmm. and there are things that I definitely lacked that mm -hmm. helped the other person continue another five years. Maybe we should not have continued the 10 years. <laughs> we should have cut the, the first breakup, but I would not, I think I would be a better girlfriend now. So I think for you, maybe you can evaluate yourself as well. Like I'm not saying it's totally you, but there are some parts that both of you have definitely yeah, yeah i think mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. sure. I, I would like to add on to that that's really an amazing point bea um it may not be your fault but you're still accountable for making the environment of this the the relationship the heart the mm -hmm. um like the chemistry of the relationship for her to feel like that for her to feel like there was something missing so it's not entirely your fault but there are some things that you um like uh, how, how do you say this? Like you added in the relationship to to make to help the relationship be in that point. So at the same time, you know, do some self reflection and just ask yourself, okay, maybe next time I'll do better at th these things so I could, you know, refrain from meeting people that will say those things again to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah. Get someone to stop saying it's not me, it's you. Yeah, it's kind of rough to be broken up. That but, yeah, yeah. Have being to... being blindsided is a terrible feeling. And to answer your question, how do I get over her if we still see each other in our weekly Zoom study yeah. sessions? <laughs> um, you know what? It's you get over time. her by uh, make sure you look good <laughs> and focus on what you're there for, which is studying the Bible. Ako naman kailangan tang maghanap ka ng bagong Bible study group. Oh, <laughs> get, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Not get not yourself out of the situation. Religion. Or ask her to leave the Bible study group. It's either diba, it's you, you or her. It's not me, diba? It's you, Alice. Mama galit yung pastor na. <laughs> How about you, Alec? What do you think about that? Like, if you see uh, your ex every every <laughs> once a week, week lang pa, naman, every week, <laughs> but then ang lalim pa ng pinag-uusapan yun, diba? Sometimes may hugot or baka masaktan. Like, bang may matamaan sa inyo with one of the readings because it's always about Thank you, sorry. You know? Love is patient. Patient pa talaga ako <laughs> nung kami. Love is kind. Was I really kind? I think I think that that that's a really weird and complex situation like yeah. of course you want to be like very casual very professional and very spiritual when it comes to those kind of things but at the same time you're just a human being and you experience these emotions and it's okay for you to experience them and so i think you know i, I agree with bea you know uh find a new B bible study group or at least try to communicate maybe we we shouldn't be in the same time together maybe you go to four o'clock i'll go to five so because it's gonna be hard for you and it's gonna be um until you fully heal from what hurt you you'll continue to bleed on on the present moment which you know you you're you're still a part of um that bible study so before anything you know any emotions get really complex and you know there's gonna be some negative emotions and you're gonna ruin a lot of more a lot of uh, relationships other than you both of you I, I suggest you take the initiative to just um, find other ways where you could practice your faith like read still go to Bible studies not and at the same time refrain from seeing her 
Yeah, you gotta get yeah. it out of your system. You gotta get her oh out of God. your system. Yeah, different and our religious group, I think, is important. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary to change your religion. Now. Just change the group. No, no. Yeah, just the group. Listen to them. Unless, to <laughs> Unless, have you heard of Jukla? <laughs> <laughs> intervention, <laughs> pala talaga. Yeah, Mister, any divine intervention? I hope we helped you. Um, do you have any last questions, or you're all good? No, this is this is helpful. So yeah, I mean it was definitely um, yeah. I was thinking it's her fault, but I do probably have <laughs> things to do. Don't feel head. down. You sound down. Oh, oh yeah. My. yeah, focus on yourself. Trust me. Uh, maybe my last words would be. If you, I really believe that you can't have a healthy relationship with other people if you don't have a healthy relationship with yourself. So in that way, if you want to find better relationships, you need to first become better yourself. Trust me, I, I've seen this like in, per, in my personal life. The moment that I leveled myself up, the moment that I became better, the people that I met were, were way, way better compared to the people that I, who I met before. Like, yeah. it's just amazing. So focus on you, Mr. I Need Divine Intervention. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I have a follow-up pala. This is oh. my uh, remedy for you. So after, manood ka ng Sister Act. Or like, yes! <laughs> kumunta ka lang ng mga gospel songs. Kasi diba, masaya yun. So, yeah. 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 Worship songs are good. Diba? Yeah. And I guess my final uh, message would be, you know, you you are in a Bible study, and I'm a believer in that God answers prayers. Uh, oh, yeah. pray and focus on yourself. Um, you'll 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 find your way. Okay, so Mr. Divine Fashion, thank you for sharing thank your you. story with us. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good, Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Alec, we usually start also with an icebreaker, so we you know. We get to be tight. Okay. So, usually when we go through a breakup, we wallow. What is your choice of song and film as your breakup anthem? <laughs> okay. I guess... Um, ah, <laughs> Funny. Uh, like the breakup song. When I, when I was going through the breakup. Mm-hmm. I guess it would be like um, Lainey's Malibu Nights, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe if I whenever every time I hear that song, I feel so sad. I feel so heartbroken, and maybe it just you know I just connected to a certain emotion before. But that was my song. Yeah. <laughs> How about movie? Uh, movie. Yeah, what, what, oh, the movie. Uh, well, uh, I I don't watch movies now, but before I used to watch like Filipino movies, like Filipino love stories. And so if my breakup, um, <laughs> if there was a movie breakup anthem, I think it would be One More Chance. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, had me at, yeah. you had me at my worst. <laughs> you yeah. had me he at my best. You chose to broke my heart. Oh you my chose God. to broke my <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Okay. Oh. Go, Bea. Uh, songs, anything like Coldplay, The National, anything that just sounds depressed is good. <laughs> Sometimes Nirvana, anything na nakakalungkot. And then um, the films, I'm like caught between either Godfather, because I like blood, or Rocky, so that you feel like you can survive anything. <laughs> and then the last would be Something's Gotta Give, which is like a bit of Jack Nicholson and Diane Keaton to just like level, like giving me hope na my love sa mga ano, 60s. Because yeah. it's hirap, ang hirap. How about yeah, you, I Shari? Ju- yeah, sorry, go. Um, my heartbreak anthem was always Adele, um, oh. Take It All, or <laughs> any Adele, actually. Like, I think the all heartbroken, I listen to her, I'm like, shit, I'm heartbroken. You know, I get the, um, <laughs> that feeling. And then for a movie, I'm also like, it's either I go classic, I do Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is one of my favorite films, or Casablanca, and then The Godfather or Kill Bill. Oh. Yeah, you know, you know, I that. find it really weird because uh, you guys are really like trying to be, uh, like trying to get better with your movies and, and, and music. Like when I was heartbroken, or uh, every time I still get heartbroken, I try to be more, I, be, I try to be sadder. Like I try to uh, drown myself in just pity and all that stuff. But yeah, I guess I just, I just found myself so weird. Why would I say those things? But at the same time, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice to hear those movies as well from you guys. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. There's a the pity yeah. party is important though, right? Like it is important to have it. Yeah, I don't think it's that people force themselves. Like, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. but I feel like <laughs> taking the moment to be sad first. Yeah. Before first. you want, it's like you, you know, you, kailangan yun. That's necessary. So we have another part for our icebreaker, okay. Alec. And now it's okay. gonna be you and Bea. You mm-hmm. just have to agree or disagree with a breakup statement. Okay. Okay. So first statement: You can't date anyone within the three months after the breakup, aka uh-huh. the three month rule. Agree or disagree? Agree, agree. I agree. You, ah, uh, I agree. I, I guess <laughs> like you can't date anyone. <laughs> What's with the hesitation? <laughs> okay, because I dated someone. <laughs> I broke the three month rule, right? Oh. I said, no, the, the three month rule uh, don't doesn't exist. Uh, you know, love doesn't know doesn't have any time la- timeline. If you want to fall in love, fall in love. I, I was talking about that, but at the same time, it it really taught me that if you are not sure with what your boundaries are and what your non negotiables are, and you're trying to get into a new relationship, it's gonna be so messed up. So now I agree. <laughs> uh, do not date anyone, <laughs> or do not date during the three month period. Please, at least try your best. Yeah. I would like to agree, okay. but like based on my past experiences, all the guys I've ever who have ever really broken um, up with me, they've dated someone right, right away. So I don't know if I'm just like nakakatakot or something <laughs> or what, but yeah, I would like to agree, but I feel like disagree because it doesn't, I haven't seen it in reality happen for me, at least. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay, number two, guys. No contact with X is the best way to recover. I agree. I definitely agree. Like in the early stages of healing, block her. Get her out of get her get her out of your system. Block her friends. Block <laughs> her family. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just Cut. try yeah. to do your best <laughs> to just. Um, create a new a new lifestyle, um, you know, or a new life, or add new more uh, add more meaning in the short in the short run because it's it's healing is really messy, especially if you you you're really invested in that person, and mm-hmm. so it get uh, it takes um, time for you to actually accept what is happening. So before you hit that point where you accept what is happening, before you can look at her or at him. And talk to him like, wow, I learned the lesson why we broke up or I learned why you did that. I learned why we didn't work out. You got to stay away from them. So do not contact them. <laughs> right. Mm-mm. I would say agree, but it's really hard to do. Yeah. You really have to block them from everything. LinkedIn, Telegram, WhatsApp, <laughs> Viber, every LinkedIn. single platform. And then just everywhere. Block ka, hindi um unfriend or like yeah. delete because they will find a way to talk to you and i did read this article before that there was this app in the states where i don't know if it's called venmo but there was this ex that she was trying to avoid talking to her ex um so th- they had to pay each that app like a dollar every time you had to like text that person so like i think that's interesting that you put a monetary value because you are <laughs> You're wasting your time, really. Yeah. It's hard time to be friends gold. with your ex. Exactly. So, hmm. Okay, yeah. the last one, guys, which I think is somehow pretty interesting. <laughs> the best way to recover from somebody is to get under somebody else. I'm always going to ask questions, even if we planned it. Tell us the truth later. <laughs> um, I would say it helps. So I agree. Because uh, when you break up with someone, and especially if you're not the initiator, it's so like you really suffer from low self esteem. So I think having someone to date again, or what you say, get under someone else, is a good boost of. Um, confidence. It's not the best way and it's not long term, but <laughs> yeah. I would say nakakatulong siya. Parang lipstick, yeah. diba? Distraction, distraction. 
Uh, Not the best or healthiest, but it's a distraction, I guess. It's a welcomed distraction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, I actually agree, surprisingly, because, um, well, if you... Well, I guess in life we live and we learn, right? If if we make the good de- if we make the right decision, then congratulations to us. You know, if we end up with the person that we we you know we get under, um, then congratulations. But if it doesn't, then we learn and we learn to adjust and we learn to set our boundaries properly, and then we could make better decisions in the future. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, Alec and Bea, it's risky, by like, the way. Kind of risky, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're no, we're very, very well acquainted now. Thank you guys for answering the questions. Okay, okay. So we're kind of really in the beginning of an apocalyptic breakup, and I want to know how to not break up with someone versus the proper way of breaking up. Um, okay, we'll start off with a question of: Have you heard of any breakup horror stories, Alec and Shari? And would you have any of your own that you could share? You don't have to say the names. Mm. The worst I've heard was um just email. Not a text, <laughs> not a call. An email breakup. And it was like yeah. a four-year relationship or something like that. Wow. That's so crazy. How could you like sum it up in an email? I just don't like. <laughs> Let's say it and then put it at the end respectfully. Uh-oh. Oh, warm <laughs> greetings. War- warm regards. Best regards. Warm regards. <laughs> <laughs> With much concern. Oh, my. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst I heard. I've, uh, I know someone who was pregnant six months and then someone broke up with her. That was pretty tough. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't remember. I think... Uh... Yeah, I can't remember any any breakup that's like really weird. I uh, I think I'm I, I'm grateful that the the friends that I had. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't I can't really remember any breakup. But uh, there was one time where I think it's it's weird to like break up in the text just generally i don't i don't find it really right or something like that but and and then i did that you know just to put it out there maybe the girl who you who may be watching right now um is hearing this i'm sorry but yeah i did that before um it, it was not right i just sent it i think the message that i sent was like i need more time for myself and that was it. Like no no explanation. And we were like dating for two months, two, three, three months, I think. But for me that that was really a big deal because I wasn't, you know, used to that. And so yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I have a follow up for this? Because we were talking about this with uh, a friend and this idea of cold feet. Because a lot of people will say that they're uh, busy or they need time for themselves, but actually in in the core of that is that they get cold feet. Yeah, exactly. So what is it with women? Because, of course, you want, like, now, right? they have a timeline. <laughs> they have a, they need yes. to, uh, you know, give birth in a few years. Exactly. So they're going to be coming out of the pandemic very, very ready to settle down and have kids. Mm-hmm. You know, with the people that you've dated, Alec, or, like, probably flirted with, What's that telltale sign that goes like that that Oof. makes men like cold feet? Because we want to avoid that. We want like a long lasting <laughs> relationship, but women can't help it. <laughs> and do we do something that you guys suddenly get nervous? Do we say Sorry. something? Do we act a certain way? And suddenly you're like, oh no. I will, well, it, it really depends on 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 uh on the man that you're dating. Like I can't speak for it. Uh, like men in general because for a moment um i thought that i was ready to settle down as well you know when we were having this thing and uh, we were making plans for the future and i was like hey i think i'm ready to settle down but the more the more that they uh, that she talked about it i was like wait i think i'm not ready yet so i i think i think it's just um being you know 
properly communicating whether it's something that you really like or just something that you feel like you need to say, need to like. And uh, yeah, but eventually, you know, to all the women out there, eventually you will meet someone who is ready, who is at the same page as you are. So you don't need to worry if they, if you, if the man that you're dating right now, if you, the man that you met before didn't really feel or you, um, you made them have cold feet. It's not, it's not really you. The right one will come at the right time. Trust me on that. Ah, I feel so hopeful. I like to that. <laughs> like, I'm like, yes, answered prayers today. I know. <laughs> okay, so since we talked about um, breaking up with people a weird way, like that, through the email, um, a text, oh, why do you think people break up with people that way? Uh, okay. Again, this forced me to like go back to that situation. I'm, I'm so ashamed of that situation. Anyway, it's basically because I don't want to hurt her in some way, but at the same time, that's that's a really jerk move because yeah. it, it she deserves an explanation. She deserves, you know, a, a clear and honest um, communication um, that she can understand why it happened at least. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, I was so ashamed. I was so I, because the words the words that I said during the relationship, it was like, I'm gonna eat all of that. Like everything that I said, I'm gonna throw all of that away. But I really can't fight this feeling that I'm just not into you anymore. But at the same time, it's more of a me really just hating myself or disliking myself because I wasn't really true to my word. So yeah, that's that. That's why I didn't mm. broke up. I didn't break up with I know with I did break up through text. <laughs> mm. There's a lot of emotions that go through that, right, Cherry? What do you like mm-hmm. for I, I think that it stems into like fear also. Um I guess I don't know. I, or, or you could just just not care so much anymore. There, sometimes it's like that. Also, the relationship is just so you're so over it. It was toxic to you, so you you break up in the cruelest way that you can. Or it could be that also. But feeling of the deep deep down is fear. Yeah. What, what do you think? Fear, anxiety, and also maybe that relationship or that person is not that important to you. Because exactly. that, like, if you were to do that in a very dignified way, I mean, that's the reality. If you really care about that person, you would do it face to face. When I think about it now, maybe in the twenties we can all be excused, right? <laughs> like, we didn't know anything. No one teaches you in school how to date, how to reject mm. someone, how to be rejected. So, I think nowadays, uh, if you really cared about someone, you would do that face to face. Well, v- via Zoom, if that's the that case <laughs> right now, <laughs> right? So. Uh, how do you know, though, let's, when to break up with someone? I think that's an important question as well with our relationships that are not serving us anymore. Well, well that's hard, especially if you don't know what you're really looking for in a relationship. A lot of times we tend to just settle for what, what we have compared to not having anyone at all or anybody at all beside us. So when you're I don't know. I don't I, this this whole conversation forced me to like reflect on on what I'm doing for the past few months. So thank you guys for inviting me here. But yeah, I uh, I guess one of the signs would be if you are like involved with another person when i say involved it's like you're uh, you're longing for another person that's one sign so that's like the the, the best sign that you're really out of uh, you fell out of love with the, with the person that you are with so yeah i guess i could start off with that if you're longing yeah. for someone else that's exactly when you should break up yeah that's a good one longing for somebody else or you're not energized or you, the worst I think is if you can't communicate openly with yeah. your partner, Mm-mm. right? 
Yeah, you know, um, everything I'm, starts feeling exhausting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, like everything is is becoming a challenge. Yeah. And at the same time, I like what Bea said. Um, when you'd rather walk away than to fix the conflict, I think that's a red flag. That's a, a sign that you should maybe slow down and reflect. Do you really want to be with this person? Because I think that's one major sign that you fell out of love with her. So if there's really no love, then what's the point of the relationship? So if you'd rather walk away than fix a conflict, yeah, that hmm. that's one sign as well. Actually, look Oh, walk, away. walk away, walk away. <laughs> walk out, na lang. <laughs> walk People, out, queen. <laughs> listen to that. Listen to that. That's important. Okay, so here's a another question, an interesting one. Siya mas nahihirapan recover from the breakup, yung na na iwanan o yung nang iwan. Bea, you, what do you think? And Alex, I'll, I'll start. I'll hmm. start. Be- I. Just think if you're the initiator of the breakup. I mean, we read this in the book of Logan Yuri, which is How to Not Die Alone. And she says that some people just look like they're recovering faster from a breakup because they've spent time beforehand. So before the breakup, maybe three years na nag iisip yung taong malungkot, di ba? So it's yeah. actually equal lang yung both. It's just that the timeline siguro hindi nagkaka-tugma. Um, that they had a head start ba, some yeah. <laughs> recovery. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. And I'd like to think that's the case because I always feel like, lang ba? Ako lang ba ang nalulungkot? Yung isa hindi? <laughs> and then, yeah. We'll talk about something else about stalking. But I feel like that seeds through your head that I look sad and this person is just eating ice cream outside or I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> or you could be dating a sociopath also. That's why he just has no emotions. That's a possibility. But both is, both uh, part both parties um decent people. I think you you make a lot of sense, Bea. Yeah. How about you, Alec? I think um from my perspective, if you know, as you said, they're not a sociopath. I think yung nang iwan yung mas nahihirapan. I mean, like if ikaw yung naiwan, well of course this is completely relative. Um wala naman talagang timeline for moving on. But kasi pag ikaw yung nang iwan, tas ikaw yung naka-move on, mas magaan sa pakiramdam. Ikaw yung naiwan, ikaw yung naka-move on, mas magaan sa pakiramdam compared sa ikaw yung nang iwan tapos um nag-move on ka, pero there's still like uh, there's still like a part of you that you don't forgive because you hurt uh, another person. Like I, I know a person, I know a guy who like um, who broke up with with her girlfriend because she was seeing he was he was seeing someone else. And hanggang ngayon, kahit masaya na siya sa relationship niya, parang na ano pa rin siya. Ayon yun naririnig yung pangalan kasi nagigilty siya. Ganun. So, alam mo yun, na, na, naka-move on ka nga, pero yung, yung degree ng moving on na naabot mo, probably mas, mas mababa kapag ikaw yun ang iwan. Kasi, alam mo yun, depende lang kung, kung sociopath ka, sabi mo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like the idea of guilt, like, I would like all men or women to declare when they're guilty kasi you would actually help the healing process of the other person. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good point. Bay has a lot of who got here. You would really <laughs> help. <laughs> FYI. Actually. They actually tatoyan Bea. Um parang kung magkaroon man ng chance to, 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 to just come clean. I think it helps you both na rin for like kayo nagmo-move on kayo parehas separately. Ikaw, para mabigat na yung... Kasi you need to forgive yourself. If you did something bad, if you did, if you cheated on someone, if you fell out of love ng uh, walang reason or meron pala talaga reason, di mo sinasabi, you're, you're gonna bring that hanggang tumanda ka. So it's better na ngayon maging honest ka and wag mo nabit in the future and you need to forgive yourself. And, you know, um, sabi mo lang na guilty ka just by acknowledging that you feel guilty, accepting that you feel guilty, it really helps you on a personal level. And at the same time, talagang masarap sa pakiramdam ko nyari yung iniwan mo na guilty ka. Eh, ganun talaga. Iniwan mo ako eh. Pero ngayon, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm doing better na. Okay na ako. 
exactly. like those mga ano messages after like six months saying like you're doing really good or you look really well or you were a good alam, <laughs> alam nyo sobrang sobrang ano kala ko sa movies ko lang nakikita yan but, but my ex actually texted me like mm. um, the one time nag text siya and like congrats on on, on the podcast I was like yeah yeah, thank you. <laughs> it just feels good. And at the yeah. same time, you know, ayong ayong wani naman na parang parang eh ko ini mo kasi ako or like e- boost your ego or something. But it just feels nice na out of nowhere kasi hindi mo na siya naisip nula sa sistema mo tas malaman mo siya inisip ka parin pala niya. So parang alam mo yun na okay may party tan na guilty siya and, and hindi hindi sa you you pry on her having this guilt. It's just you accepting that okay she knows that she uh, she feels bad for what she did and so that's okay with me because at the same time she can start her own moving on and healing process mm-hmm. success is the best revenge everyone. yes 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 raming pinagdaanan feeling ko kasi you know what guys i'm not the type to break up with someone which i should learn but I'm really not the person that breaks up with someone. I am the person that someone would break up with. And you mean, so you're sad. not the only one. One of my best friends, I remember my mom was talking to her and she was like, oh, I know, did you break up with that boyfriend of yours? And then she goes like, tita, never ako yung nagbe-break up. Palagi ko yung iniiwan. Di ko alam kung bakit. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was like, ay, talaga. It's Hindi common. Ako- yeah, ako rin actually, Bea. Hindi ko siya nasabi kanina. Pero ayoko kong nagkipag-break. Kasi when I try to invest sa isang tao, I make sure that it's for the long term. And I never imagine myself like waking up one day na parang ayoko pala talaga. Hindi pala ito talaga yung gusto ko. So, yung mga sinasabi ko na I don't give up on anybody or ano, parang Yun yung, yun yung mahirap na part sa akin. Kaya sabi ko na, okay, next time, mag-iingat na talaga ako. Like, yung intentions ko dapat very clear na sa simula pa lang. Kasi nga, ayun nga. <laughs> it takes one worm to get in there. And you know, yeah. <laughs> you can do all the self-improvement, but if someone wants to mess up your life. But anyways, shout out na madaming hugot in this episode. But I would like to ask about, like, you're talking about your big investment into time with someone. And mm-hmm. when they do, like, you know, they stop investing in you and they break up with you, should you give feed, should they give you feedback? Do you want them to give you feedback about what rent went wrong in a relationship? Or mas okay na sayo na less words, less mistake, at less hurt? Um, pag pag sila yung nangyari they withdrew the, the yeah, investment they broke up na ginagawa with you. Yeah. Uh, they broke up with me like in, in, in a perfect world I would like an explanation please but at the same time I know na it's not a perfect world and we can never have all the justifications or the reasons why we're hurting uh, so I think um well, I'm more inclined to say na sige kahit pag hindi ko nalang makuha explanation. But at the same time, when I heal, it's because I healed on my own. Like, if I moved on, I moved on on my own. If I recovered, I recovered on my own. So, th- no thanks to you, but thanks to myself. So, yeah. I like that. Ang taray. Ang taray nun. Oh, that's powerful. <laughs> How about you, Shari? <laughs> feedback or no feedback? Just move on. Um, Move on. <laughs> At the end of the day, I can take the lessons myself. I mean, <laughs> what feedback do I want? Pa, really? Because I mean, you have the, you've had the discussion. You analyze your past. I mean, I guess maybe it's my pride again. Maybe I'm going back to how I find that. I don't need feedback from somebody who <laughs> leaving <not> you <laughs> exactly. What? Because again, I'm at the end of the day, you're a human being. Somebody breaks up with you, masakit. So you will have a little bit of resentment there. And can you honestly take feedback, positive or negative, from somebody you feel resentment for? Not really. You won't be you won't properly address the feedback that you get anyway. So no. That's my answer. <laughs> Ikaw, Bea, you want the feedback? A strong no. I want a performance report. Mm. I want a quality <laughs> check. Yeah. You know, when you bring a car to uh, the what do you call this? Talier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, full, yeah. I want a full report. What happened to that <laughs> car? And tell me everything. I don't know. 
I guess I'm that sucker for like self improvement, but at the same time, you are you're both right. It's like you should just do that self work yourself and like not comply with what that person thought that relationship was gonna be because maybe it isn't what you want either. So, yeah. or his feedback really doesn't make any sense. Like it can be so shallow. Na you know, I've heard people now breaking up with their partners because they didn't like something in bed or they didn't like the way they did this they did that it that's it just because you don't align with this person and he gives you this feedback doesn't mean that translates to the next person you date so i guess feedback is good but don't make it like your bible for your next relationship yeah and also like look at if if the person giving feedback is really credible Say if, mm. if you know you broke up, that was on the bad terms. Now she's a liar, or she can't really be trusted, or he can't really be trusted. Then why would you listen to that feedback anyway? So before you know, before you look at the feedback, look at who's giving the feedback. That's smart. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> okay, so Bea and Alec, tell me, what is the ideal breakup for you? What do you think could okay? Yeah, but okay, yeah, that's a good breakup. Thank you. <sighs> Ang hirap. Sorry, pero <laughs> ewan ko. I, 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 I don't. I hindi naman ako as in sobrang experience sa breakup. Pero I think wala talaga yung perfect breakup. Kung meron lang is yung mag- magulat ka na lang nagkipag-break na siya sa'yo pero magkipag-break ka pala. I think that would be the perfect breakup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, oh, you're, you're breaking up with me? Yeah, I was about to break up with you. Okay. With you. Match. Okay, Uh-oh. match. <laughs> we're aligned. <laughs> we're aligned that we're misaligned. <laughs> I think that's the only perfect breakup. But at the same time, you know, jokes aside, there's no really easy way or like the perfect way to do it. You're still gonna hurt someone. Um... In 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 a, in a, in whether it's it's a small thing or a, a huge thing to her, it, you're still gonna hurt them in one way or another. So, yeah, that's me. Mm. How about you, Bea? Bea, uh, I want to be wine and dined and <laughs> walk in the beach, walk <laughs> At in least. the park. You know, I want to be treated well, and then you can break up with me. But yeah, there's really no easy way. I think a calm conversation is always good. Yeah, and just being decent. Walang nagsigawan. Walang nagbabatuan ng plato. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. That, that that should be like the bare, uh, alam mo yun, uh, bare minimum. Bare minimum. Yun, eh, as in, na parang, come on guys, pwede naman pag-usapan talaga eh. Bakit? Walang batuan ng pinggan. <laughs> Oo, exactly. Yeah. 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 I like, yeah, your approach. I like that. Send me a whiskey. No, don't take me out. Let's not hang out, but... Send me a, a cake and a bottle of whiskey, and we're good. We can have the conversation. <laughs> I like that. Uh, specific, what whiskey? I want this this Uh-oh. brand, 18 years or whatever. Send me the good stuff. 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 Send me the thank you. Send me the good stuff. 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 Send me the good uh, okay, follow up on the breakup. Would you rather someone broke up with you on private, in private, or in public? I think it would be better in private. Because mm. I'm a cry baby, I'm, I'm gonna cry. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, I think I'd be more um, acceptable when when it's done in private because it's really sincere, it's really yeah. genuine. And, uh, you know, hindi lang yung sa, nasa outside ka na talagang hindi ka nga pwedeng gumawa ng scene. E paano kung, kung alam mo yun, na you want to express yourself talaga and you want to talk more, hindi mo magagawa yun publicly kasi nga it's, it's a scene. Pero if kung private kayo, di mapag-usap pa, maybe makakuha ka pa ng ibang reason, justification, clarity as well kung bakit kayo nag end Pero yeah, that's me. That's for me. Hmm. How public. Oh. Oh, public. public or private, but so with a good exit strategy. For yeah, me. the same. That's always. Basta, I just wanted to basta connect pina, it. Yeah, pina gusto napan kung sandadaan para hindi naman gasalubong mamaya well, <laughs> or mauna ka, mauna ka wala. Pag sa akin na buisit ka, <laughs> ka, long way home ka, duha ka. <laughs> Ikaw ba yung meron ka? I just public, the same. No? I like that. I like that. Just ako na ka ano ayos ng exit strategy ko. Exactly. 
Okay, so guys, we are the how to not handle naman versus the proper way to handle a breakup. So, iniwan ka na. How, does, how do you process it? How do you move on? So, first, what are the toxic reactions to a breakup? A.K.A. stalking. You start binging, binge eating or binge drinking. Um, what else? What do you think are toxic reactions and why? Stalking for me is number one, although yeah. we're all guilty of it. Yeah. We are all guilty, but it does not. It's like tell me what's like the worst way. Like, what's the worst way you've stalked first, Bea? Like taking a shower with your clothes on. That's how it feels like. But that's um, how you stalk? Ah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Do you want to go? I mean, the worst I've stalked is definitely hung around a, a routine, like a route that I knew he would pass. Like, I just knew he'd be around that area. And, yeah, that would be my number one I know, stalking tip. Just hanging around a cafe. I know he's going to pass. That's a good one. <laughs> like, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> are, you, are you over me? Because yeah. I'm not over you, obviously. <laughs> That's crazy. I actually did that before. Sorry if you could hear the dogs. But... Oh you know, I did that before, like, I knew what time she would go home. So, I, like, stayed sa labas nung, nung bahay nila. <laughs> Tapos nakatingin lang ako. Pero hindi ko siya kinausap. Tinignan ko lang siya habang pauwi siya sa bahay niya. Like, okay, one more last, one last look, one last look. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, so creepy at that time. Oh, my gosh. But at the same time. We all have our <laughs> little... Oh, no, there was this restaurant <laughs> na was super near his place. This guy na I was seeing. And then, I don't even really... Like, I mean, I like ramen, but ramen's not something that you eat often. But I was like, in the span of two weeks, I was there four or five times just waiting and see if he passes by. <laughs> but you know, I can imagine you, Shari, like having they're like offering you a loyalty card, and it's ramen. like, <laughs> Mom, maybe to kayo four times a week. <laughs> 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 okay, so we did talk about stalking. How about social media? Do you guys, do you guys stalk on social media? Your exes? Or people you've dated? Yes. It's the worst. I want to not do it. I think it's so bad, but I don't do it now. I'm definitely over it, but there was a time I was definitely looking, for sure. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um... I think there was a time that I even hacked her Gmail so I wow. could access. Yeah. Wow, Alec. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I try and find a way to get into her Facebook. And at that time, hindi pa uso yung two-factor authentication. So, you know, you're Facebooking and that's the access. I was so proud of myself, but at the same time, so disappointed. Like, why why am I doing this? So, ayun. Pero hindi ko na kasi kasi binlock niyo na ako sa lahat. Hindi niyo makita. Ganyan. So, Hindi niya alam, nakikita ko siya as sa, sa kanya. <laughs> Pero yun, that was like the creepiest or like na ginawa ko sa social media. Pero ngayon, hindi ko na masyadong ginagawa yung pag-stalk sa social media. Kasi like I know na whatever she's gonna post, it's not the whole story. Like there's still something happening behind that. So hindi na ako masyado na obsess uh, when my missing out sa experiences yeah. niya. Yeah. Actually, a friend told me this. Na it is very interesting when people post so much on social media, yet there's something going on in their life, yet you don't see that on the perfect grid or you know their motivational. Like you don't actually post on social media. I'm having a bad day, and there are some people that do, but rarely, rarely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so can we talk a little bit about trying to recover from the breakup? What are some of the things that you both do. Like, Shari, you obviously ate a lot of ramen. Yeah. What are the better things that help you recover from a breakup? I'm a stress baker in general. So any tumultuous thing happening in my life, I will cook or I will bake. And that makes okay. me feel good. Hmm. Okay. Well, what I do is I try to indulge myself into self improvement. Just want to be better. Like you know, if I if I miss her, I just want to be better so that tomorrow I won't miss her. Or at least when I do, uh, when when the time comes that we we came across we come across with each other, like I'm gonna be so much better. So every time that that feeling comes, I just want to improve myself. 
or I also I think w- this is like a tricky thing, but I really believe that I I think we answered this earlier. But basically, just talking so- to someone else, like um, trying to be in a relationship with someone else, trying to f- have a fling with someone else, that really helps. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Bea? Uh, I I believe in um, endorphins. So whatever way you want to get like really good hormones or happy hormones. So dark chocolate, uh, working out, laughing, those are my go-to. And my number one, like, I think recovery plan is to journal. And Mm -hmm. just ask yourself so many questions. And one day you're just going to wake up and it's like, you're going to be okay. It's going to take time. They they say there's a formula. I don't know if you've ever heard this. It's like the length of the time you're with with a person divided by two. So when I was going through my, about I think it was five-year breakup, like the, the midway point of my 10-year, they were telling me it's going to take me 2.5 years to recover. But I don't think so. I think it can be faster. It can be slower depending on the work you put in. I think it also depends on who you broke up with. You know, sometimes people feel relief when they're they're out of that of a toxic relationship, diba. Yeah. Like the 20 years ban bayon, diba? Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly uh, what I feel what uh, what I feel um from my past relationship. Like we broke like we were together for eleven years, but now I'm thank God we're not together anymore. Not that I don't mm-hmm. uh that I hate her or something like that, but it's just we're not really for the best right now for who we want to be in the future and in, and uh, in my near future i'm really focused and, and invested in myself so I, i'm really grateful that i i don't have to deal with any kind of toxicity na pwedeng dumating so yeah mm-hmm. i wait lang gusto ko lang din highlight yung sinabi ni Bea about the journaling it really does help like i journal every day hindi ko na napawansin mm-hmm. it's part of my routine and i don't try, i don't try to uh, give emphasis to it but I really enjoy and it really helps me because um, when, I, when I see it on my journal, like my fears, my doubts, the things that I want to cry about, when I th- see it on my journal, it's out there. It's not in me anymore. Like it's in a separate thing from me. So it really helps me a lot. And just, you know, um, alleviating the, the burden of what, whatever is inside my mind. Some people suggest to do like third person journaling so you can remove the emotions out. Yeah. I mean, I'm a believer. So I, I like whatever angle this journaling will do. Like I think it's even in that book, Shari, like How Not to Die Alone, where Logan says like there's a way where you frame your mind. Like you take your mind and there's many ways where you look at the negatives of your relationship, look at the positives of the breakup, think of activities that will make you rediscover yourself and lastly try to improve your decision making and all those things can improve your i mean put be in your journal basically i don't know yeah yeah journal i tried journaling i don't know i didn't get the stick i will try again guys i promise you that's my project um i think it's hard to journal kung wala wala kang hugot or pinag ano uh, <laughs> Never <laughs> looked at the type of my hugo day. I'm just so like <laughs> Man, oh, okay. I, like I have so many. I don't know, Alec. Can you relate? Because I yeah. am a big since I was young. Rami ko mga ano. I am parang rami ng galit sa tao. The liars of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, over this. Uh, romantic, <laughs> romantic yun. <laughs> Lahat ng uh, nangyari, you know, you try to romanticize it. So I feel na ikaw yung bida. So you try to put it down, write a script and. Why are the things that are happening in my life? Yeah, I'd like to do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so how about this, guys? So, you know what else is heartbreaking? Now, also, Bay and I have received a lot of messages about this. Now, you start something with somebody. Especially here, hear virtual dating, but you match with somebody um, on Bumble or on Tinder, and then you guys start talking, and it looks promising. You start imagining your lives together, and if I end up with this guy, and Post pandemic, this is it. This is it, pan sit. And then suddenly, he disappears. He doesn't want na. So you mourn your almost relationship. How do you get over these? 
almost things. Because people think you're ridiculous for mourning it. Because you don't know, right? So they belittle your feelings. Yeah, every time. Um, I think I get that question a lot then from TikTok. Paano po kung wala kami label? Paano ako makakamove on? Ganun, ganun. I always tell them that when someone ghosted you, first of all, respect the dead and move on. But at the same time, I, always, I, say, I, say, I say to them that if someone ghosted you, it's not a rejection, it's a redirection. And buti na lang. Hanggang ngayon, maaga pa lang nakita mo na. Kasi kung pinatagal mo pa, mas mahihirapan ka. I like that. I, I like the respect that. Respect dead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, Bea always says that like she's like a ghost. Bea, that's how you should, I uh, know, handle it now. Respect the dead. I want to know the resurrection. Like, second life. <laughs> Tell me. I want to know. And then you do all the, you know, those weird, magical, surreal things of bringing them back to life. Oh, Franken- Dr. Frankenstein level thing. Tell me why. I want to know. But okay, so I do get that. I like that. Respect the dead is like my important lesson here today. But we are coming to a close and we really appreciate the advice that you have shared with us, Alec. You are the calm one between the among the three of us. And I'll be asking you my favorite question. Uh, what is love? Wow, wow. Like, I'm, I'm caught off guard, but I think love is when you don't have to try. Mm. Yeah, love is um, that feeling, that universal language that only a few people can actually experience. I, I mean, like, you can only experience it like one or two times in a lifetime. And it, it only happens when you don't even have to try, it just happens. I always love the romantic. different answers. <laughs> I'm yeah, a romantic. I, like, I always I know. love the answers you get. Okay, <laughs> Alec. Like, um, uh, what is love? I'm not trying. Oh, sige. I'm just saying to the people. Tama na yung pag-try. What is love to you? I don't have to try. It's natural to me. <laughs> it's effortless. <laughs> I effortless. am love. I exude it. <laughs> I am uh, love. <laughs> uh, yun, I like it. Okay. Okay, go, Bea. With love? I, <laughs> I don't know. I said, I don't know. You know what? Sometimes I even wonder what really love means. But I guess let's go to kind of like our takeaways here. Yes. Um, Shari, like, what do you think your key takeaway is in this, like, our episode about breakups? Um, I think that my key takeaway from both you and Alec is um, use it as an opportunity to improve yourself. I think it's the perfect moment. It's um, wallow for a bit. Give yourself a week or two. Mag drama ka. Listen to Adele. Um, like the mga bloody movies that you want to watch or the, all the drama you want. And then after you move on and you find ways to improve yourself, give yourself feedback, you know, and take your own um, take your own criticisms of yourself and then come out better and then show your ex na and your face. Look at me now. Yun. <laughs> revenge. Success is revenge, Success. by the way. That's, no, I'm not. Okay, that's a bad takeaway. But I think the one I've been, just going back from an anonymous caller is, I don't, people always feel down when they break up with someone is because like they suffer a lot of like anxiety, low self-esteem, all that stuff. But the most important thing to remember about breakup, it is not a sign of a failed relationship. And it's not the apocalypse that it's a destruction of your life, that it's actually can re- relate to a, can give you a revelation about yourself and I think that's important. It's not a failure. Like, let's remove the word of failure, um, d- destruction, or you're so down and end of the world. It's it can be beautiful when you heal. Yeah, and when you mentioned failure, I think that's why people tend to stick to their toxic relationships. Because I mean, us women, I don't know about yeah. you men, Alec, but us women were trained to always work on our relationships, no matter what happens. Because if you don't and you get separated, you're a failure. So guys, step away from that. Sometimes, you know, the failure yun. Time lang. It's done. Respect the dead. And the relationship is dead. Oh, nega. I'm so nega. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Alec? Do you, do you have anything last to add about breakups? No. Actually, uh, what you said was really, really important. Like, take this time to improve yourself. Like, your breakthroughs come from your breakdowns. 
and your heart breaks. Mm. So if you want to have that breakthrough, you want to be better, you want to have your best life, then accept that this breakup might be the one that will initiate that. So yeah, always look forward and allow yourself to breathe. And at the same time, it's it's understand that it's okay. It's not something that na parang hindi 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 na ikaw lang hindi sa ikaw lang na karamdam it's it's been here since wala pa tayo it will always be be here heartbreaks will always be here but going back mm-hmm. to what to what Bea said what's important is what meaning do you assign to this like if you yeah. say that that this breakup will break me then it will if you say that this breakup will teach you a lot of lessons for your uh, next relationship to be better then it will Whatever you choose, it's right because you assign the meaning to that experience. So, yeah. I love that. Thank you so much, Alec, for helping us with our little breakup playbook here. I hope we helped you guys um, yeah. going through heartbreaks and breakups right now. Uh, next week, we have a, a bit of a happier topic, not breakups. We have two amazing comedians for the topic. Funny is sexy. Yes, I am so excited about this theory because I really do believe humor is uh, an aphrodisiac. So (laughs) let us uh, quench your thirst for knowledge by subscribing to our YouTube channel and submit your love problems and milestones to our website. Again, please, guys, join our little competition so you can get this book. We're giving away five of them by the end of in a month's time. And of course, submit your love problem or milestone or why you deserve it through thirstyand30.club so you don't miss a beat. And we also have a weekly newsletter called The Thirst Trap. You get 150 questions to start a spark when you subscribe. And actually, on the next month or like this month or June, whatever, we're going to do a breakup playbook um, where we will you know, help you out. So, you know, mm-hmm. this newsletter is really to send you hope, happiness, and humor all in your inbox. And it's a guide for the modern day woman who wants to be smarter and saner at hindi mabudol. And man, if they will, if they see any value in this. But also yeah. men, of course. Yes. Men. Well, yeah. You're welcome here. So stay yes. thirsty, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Alec, for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Uh, I thank really appreciated you. this. So thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thirsty and 30.